Hello, this is Chris from HackerDaily.com. I'm going to share you some very cool free antivirus tools in this little episode here. Um, I'm assuming that you use an antivirus program, but I hope you're not foolish enough to believe that it's good enough. Because not any one single antivirus program can detect all viruses. I mean, I have some favorite ones, Caspi, Nod32, and Symantec Corporate are my three top antivirus programs. But one we catch something, sometimes the other two doesn't. The free ones out there, hmm, I wouldn't trust so much. I'm not saying they're not worth having. Something's better than nothing. But honestly, your computer is really worth something to you. Invest in a decent antivirus piece of software. But even that said, even the paid software is not always good enough. Whenever I receive files from friends or I download something online, I'm very cautious. I've been hit with viruses many times over the past, and I'm I'm kind of a um, so much a computer geek in a way that even I know better than doing certain things. But there's so many people out there trying to put malware and spyware and viruses on your machines now. You got to be extra careful. So even though I personally run Symantec corporate antivirus myself, I know it's not good enough. So when I get a file, I go online and use some free tools. And yes, they're free. But I explain to you why they're they're good enough to use. The first website is VirusTotal.com. VirusTotal uses the top 36 antivirus scanning engines, and I'm talking about Nod32, Symantec Corporate, all the ones I listed, and a bunch of the other ones, even the free ones. And takes the file that you send them and analyzes it with all the engines. Now. It's simple to use. You just click browse. You find a file on your hard drive and click send file. Now I'm sending a very small file. You can send up to 10 megs in size to virus total. Now this tells me it's already been analyzed before and you can click here and see the report. But the results is one I'm worried about. Zero out of 36. So that means out of 36 virus scanning engines, none of them found a virus. Now we can just click this link and view the results from past. And it'll tell you the antivirus engine name that used to scan it, the version of that engine, and the results it found. If it found a virus, it will report it here. Now, Virus Total also has a little neat piece of software that you can download called the Uploader. It just takes a second to download it. And the link on hackerdaily.com where you can just, instead of going to the website and clicking browse like we did, we can just go to any file on our computer. Now I got so much stuff installed, it's going to pop up a huge menu when I right click it. I right click, go send to, and you can't see it, but one of the choices is virus total. So I'm going to click that and bring back up in my window. It automatically uploaded the virus total and gave us the exact same window we saw a minute ago saying that the file's been scanned. All right, so that's virus total. Again, it's, it's very friendly, very easy to use. But there's another piece of software very similar, well, another website called NoThinks, NoVirusThinks.org, and it works in the same manner, but they allow you to have 20 megabyte files. You click, browse, and upload. This one also has some extra features, like search MD5 hashes, and I'm not getting into what MD5 is right now. But basically, this keeps you from having to upload the whole file by knowing the MD5 hash, pasting it, and seeing a virus is attached to it. But this works the exact same way as virus total does but it has some few extras and they have an upload or two again this is chris from hackerdaily.com um, give our website a visit i'm going to post the links of these sites on our website and provide you with the tools the free uploaders um, you know i didn't get a chance to show it to you i'll go into more detail on our site